How about a knife from ProTech that is legal where auto knives are not? What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we're taking a first look at a knife that I first got my hands on back in January at SHOT Show. ProTech is always one of my favorite booths to go by when I'm at shows like that because they have a huge spread of knives and if they're at a show where they can sell them, they typically go fast. Now at SHOT Show, I was lucky enough to pick up this SNG operator right here, which you may have seen a video on in the past. You can check it out at the link right up here in the corner. This thing fits my style perfectly if you guys know a little bit about me. So luckily I was there early enough to get my hands on this. The knife that we're looking at today, however, was only a prototype at the time. They actually just finished building a few of them to bring to SHOT Show to sort of show off to everyone to say, hey, this is coming down the line very shortly. Fast forward a few months, now I have one of these in my hand. They were very anticipated when I showed them in my SHOT Show videos. A lot of people were asking questions about them. So without further ado, today we're gonna take a look at the ProTech Malibu. The Malibu is a super classy flipper knife designed and engineered with all of the same precision that you may think of when you hear of the name ProTech. It flies open super fast with that flipper action and there are no springs, so that actually makes this knife legal in more places than not. One of the biggest problem with ProTech knives is of course that most of them are automatic, making them illegal in some places. So this manual flipper knife will actually make this thing legal in more places. The Malibu locks up with a plunger lock and the action is so fast that just judging a book by its cover, I would guess that this thing was an automatic. This has an overall length of seven and a half inches with a blade length of about three and a quarter. Speaking of the blade, this is a reverse Tonto Warncliffe style blade made out of a 20 CV steel. It's a plain edge and it's stone washed finish adding to that classy design. On my version, the aluminum handles are black and it has a recessed pocket clip that is very familiar if you own any ProTec knives. Just like the rest of Protex line, everything here is made in the USA and they do carry a limited lifetime warranty. All right, all right, Protec Malibu. I do have to give it to Protec. They probably have some of the nicest packaging out there. It's nice and simple. It's a sturdy cardboard box with a little sleeve with a design on it. Here you can see some more information on the Malibu flipper, black handle, stone wash finish, 20 CV blade, reverse, Tonto. Now because they're calling this the Malibu Flipper, that leads me to believe that there may be an auto Malibu sometime in the future. That would definitely be pretty cool to see, but who knows when that might happen. These boxes are like magnetic, comes with a little carrying sheath, carrying bag I should say, and then they have some of their warranty info in here. And of course their website where you can find more information, protechknives.com. Now for the knife itself. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this is just a first look at this blade and I have not actually carried this. I almost don't want to carry it because I don't want to scratch it all up. I have plenty of other knives and this one is just too classy in my opinion to beat up. I have a few more Protex over here which I will bring in for a comparison like my TR5 here. This is one that I have used and abused. This one still looks great so I'm assuming that this one will be able to do the same but again I don't know if I'm going to scratch this one up or not. Oh that action is so good. So here's a close up look at the almost satin finished black aluminum handles. We have that same recessed pocket clip here, which will not get snagged on your pockets. It's springy enough to put the knife in your pocket and hold it securely, but it's not going to tear anything up because there's really no aggressive texturing on here. I like the accent of the backspacer here. It's sort of like jimping on the inside there. Speaking of jimping, right here on the flipper, you get a little bit of that. That way you get a good purchase on there and you can fire that knife almost like an automatic. This thing is very quick. You'll notice as I flick this thing out, I'm just pressing the plunger. I'm almost holding the knife at like a 45 degree angle. And that thing closes almost perfectly every time. Reverse Tonto blade on this one and almost like a Warncliffe style blade, nice and flat. I actually think that this would be a very good user. In my hand, it feels pretty good. The contours of the handle are a little strange in my opinion down on this end here, but the knife is still balanced really well if you're holding it between your thumb and pointer finger. And I mean, this could absolutely be a very useful EDC knife. 
There are really no hot spots on this thing, no matter how hard I'm gripping down on it. There is no jimping on the back of the blade. However, with the contours of the handle and where that little front finger choil area is here, I can really choke up on this blade almost all the way out to the tip and I'm not really worried about my thumb slipping forward at all. Now other than the spine markings, this is almost a sterile blade, which is one of the things that I like about my operator knife. You will notice right under here on the flipper, they have the blade steel marked. This is a CPM 20 CV. I don't have a whole lot of experience with this blade steel, but it would be considered a super steel, so I'm assuming it will be pretty good over the life of the knife. Let's actually test out this plunger a little bit. The blade falls freely, very smooth, but you could also press that and sort of uh, shake the knife out, almost like an axis lock on a Benchmade. Definitely a very smooth and very functional flipper on this Malibu. All right, now some knives for comparison. Since we brought it in earlier, right here we have the TR5. This thing is a little banged up. The black on the aluminum handle scales is a little bit chipped here and there, but this thing has seen some pocket time. The action is phenomenal, just like you would expect on any type of Pro-Tec. This one allows you to choke up on the knife a little bit more compared to the Malibu, and both of them feel pretty good in the hand. However, I would say I prefer the way this one feels in my hand just a little bit more. Now another knife manufactured by Protec, this one right here is a slim foot actually coming from Arcform. Same Protec snap open on that auto. This one's definitely a little bit chunkier. It has that same recessed pocket clip, which I am growing to love. This is in the sniper gray color, black blade on this one. And this knife feels like a really small knife. Like in my hand, you can't really put your finger up forward on this. I mean, you could but there's not really a good place for it to rest on there. So because the grip and handle area is small like that, it feels like a, I don't know, the proportions are just different. I don't wanna say the proportions are off because it almost feels like a mini sword. You get a small one-handed grip and then this large blade on there. Another really cool knife though, the Arcform Slim Foot. Ooh, love that action. This one is coming in at about the same size. However, the Malibu to me definitely feels bigger. This feels like a smaller knife when compared to these two just because of the blade to handle proportions. Now we have one more Protec, which is going to basically dwarf all of these, the SNG operator. This thing fires so hard now, the more that I get this thing broken in, the faster that big chunky blade flies out of there. This is the version with the tritium insert on the push button there, and I really love this knife. It's sterile, so there's no markings on it at all. If you weren't into knives, you would not be able to figure out who makes this or who even designed it. So putting that on the outside here, definitely a huge blade. Big old handle on that one, and it makes these other knives look a little bit smaller. And then for a non pro -tech comparison, here's one that's been in my pocket for a while. Benchmade Bug Out, super popular knife. Pretty much everyone owns one of these now. And laying that up against the competition, it's about the same size as the Malibu Flipper. Now, out of all of these knives, I have carried and used them. Probably the Benchmade more than anything else. But this knife to me is a little bit classier, almost like a gentleman folder or a gentleman flipper. Typically when I think of a gentleman's knife, I think of something really slender and sleek. And this one is definitely pretty slender. It's not the thinnest knife in the world, but man, it's like, has an elegance to it. I don't know what it is. But at the same time, it's not overly classy. Like I could definitely see myself putting this knife through some pretty hard use. I know the TR5 can handle it, so I'm assuming this one can as well. Like I mentioned though, I don't plan on beating on this thing. This will probably be like a dressier knife to me. Going to a wedding, wearing a suit, throw it in my pocket. Something very functional, but also very good looking at the same time. So that is about all that I had for the Malibu Flipper. Oh, the action on this thing is just so good. Definitely a great fidget knife, but also a user too, if this is something that you want to put to use. 
Now Protec is increasingly becoming one of my favorite knife manufacturers. I love all of the different collaborations and releases that they're doing and this is definitely one that is going to remain in my collection for quite a while now. Now if I had to guess I would say that these are going to be a little bit hard to come by for a while so check the link in the description down below if you want to pick these up or if you want more information. Just like a lot of their new knives as soon as they release they get bought up and then it's hard for them to keep up with the production so if this is something that you might want I would recommend jumping on that sooner than later. If you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and I believe that's going to be all for today so if you're new to the channel consider clicking subscribe I make new videos every week and as always thank you for watching I will talk to you in the next one.